I will be citing an article that was originally printed in a book and then reprinted in short stories for students. In Noodle Tools, I will begin my citation as a reprinted article. On the next screen, I will select Book. I'm accessing this information through a database, so I must select Database. The name of my database is up here on the tab, which is Gale Virtual Reference Library. I do not have an accession number. The date of access is today, the URL, and DOI. The first section I will be citing is the original book information. So I will begin with the author. The author is Jack Seabrook. The title of the original article is More Short Stories and the Third Level, which I can copy and paste in Noodle Tools. Notice I am not copying the quotation marks. The title of the book that it was originally printed in is called Stealing Through Time on the Writings of Jack Finney. I'll copy and paste that as well. I do not have a title of the volume or volume number. My publisher is McFarland and Company. I'm not given a city, so I'll leave that blank. And my publication year was 2006. I do not have an edition, a series name, or a series number, but it gives me the original page numbers of 45 through 48. This next section I will be citing is short stories for students. I'll leave it as a reprint. It does not have a new title, so I will not fill anything in here. The page numbers that it is on in, in Short Stories for Students is 79 through 80. And now for the rest of my information, I'll go to the very top of the article and get my information from right here. My editor is Sarah Constantakis. So I will select Editor. Put her name in there. The title of the anthology is Short Stories for Students. I don't have a title of the volume, but my volume number is going to be volume 29. My publisher is Gale. The city is Detroit. My publication year, I see 2010. I don't have an edition, a series name, or a series number. I will come down here and hit Submit. And there is my citation.